Hello, YouTube. I thought I'd read some of Peter Wessel Zapfe's essay, The Last Messiah, which was published in 1933 in Norway. One night in long bygone times, man awoke and saw himself. He saw that he was naked under cosmos, homeless in his own body. All things dissolve before his testing thought. Wonder above wonder, horror above horror, unfolded in his mind. Then a woman, too, awoke and said it was time to go and slay. And he fetched his bow and arrow, a fruit of the marriage of spirit and hand, and went outside beneath the stars. But as the beast arrived at the water holes where he expected them to have it, he felt no more the tigers bound in his blood, but a great song about the brotherhood of suffering between everything alive. That day he did not return with prey, and when they found him by the next new moon, he was sitting dead by the water hole. Whatever happened, a breach in the very unity of life, a biological paradox, an abomination, an absurdity, an exaggeration of disastrous nature. Life had overshot its target, blowing itself apart. A species had been armed too heavily, but spirit made almighty without equally a menace to its own well-being. Its weapon was like a sword without hilt or plate, a two-edged blade cleaving everything. But he who is to wield it must grasp the blade and turn one edge toward himself. Despite his new eyes, man was still rooted in matter. His soul spun into it and subordinated to its blind laws. 